Hey, this is Nate from ClayTrader.com here with another Thinkorswim uh, intro video. If you watched some of the previous videos, you'll get a pretty good overview of what the layout of the Thinkorswim platform looks like um, and how things are laid out and where things are at. Um, today, we're going to look at trading options and how to view the options chain and just kind of how that's laid out in Thinkorswim. Um, so we're going to jump right into the trade tab, as you can see right here, um, and you're just going to enter in our ticker symbol right here. So we're just going to take a look at the GoPro. If I could type that right, GoPro options chain here. So a quick overview of this window, kind of a recap from pre previous videos. This is going to be the underlying information up here. Um, so this is going to be the current price of the stock itself. And this is what you'd be using if you're actually going to buy a single stock um, or sell a single stock, I guess, as well. Um, what we're going to be looking at in this video is going to be this options chain right here. And that's going to actually let us view the different uh, expiration dates and stuff for the option. Um, with an option, like I just mentioned, there's lots of different expiration dates, and those are all listed for us right here. Um, so let's just take a look at this one. Um, and what this information actually means is um, no, this is the November 4.15, means it's the fourth week of November in 2015. Um, and it ends on, and it's actually 45 days away is what the expiration date is. So that's kind of what that information there, there tells us. So we're just going to go ahead and expand this here. Um, across the top, you can kind of see what these different columns are. Um, we have implied volatility, probability of the money, uh, the delta, the bid, the ask, and then you have that for both calls here. And then over here on the right, we have that for puts as well. So you can see all that same information right here. Um, and then in the middle, we have expiration date and the strikes as well. Um, you can change what information is there based on what you like to see. Um, you can just use this layout button here. So layout, and you can change the different types of data and stuff that's displayed for you there. So I'm just going to leave that how it is now. Um, another thing that you might be interested in is this strikes option here. So right now I have this set to show me all of the strikes available for this uh, on, for this particular exp expiration date, but I can change it if I just want to see the four closest to in the money or at the money or the 10 or whatever. So. I'm just going to leave that at all of them. And then coming down here, um, basically the difference between each each one of these option lists here is the strike price. Um, so right here is the list of all the strike prices. Uh, and you can see that this side, the top of them are in black and the bottom is in purple. Uh, and then the exact opposite here, purple and black. Um, and basically what that's saying is in the money or out of the money. So this line, anything in purple is in the money and anything black is out of the money. Um, so you can see right here, that's actually right between the 28 and the 28.50 price points. And as you can see, the last price of the stock is 28.22. So that's how we get that, that the current price of the stock is right between those two. So out of the money and in the money. So if we're actually looking at buying a option or selling an option or whatever you wanted to do, um, it works almost identical to what it does to buying and selling stocks. Um, so let's just say we're going to buy uh, just out of the money call. So on this right hand side, we have the calls. As we said, this first one in the black is going to be the first one out of the money. So we're just going to right click on it and go buy. And now rather than just like the stock where we just had one option, now we have all kinds of different options that we, that we can do. We can do all kinds of different strategies and plays and such. Um, a single is basically just buying one contract or however many contracts you want, not doing any kind of other strategies or anything like that. So that's what we're going to do today. Go up here and we're, now it's going to pull up the same window just like we had for trading stocks. Um, as you can see here, we're still doing a spread. There's no or a single. There's no special spread or anything like that. We're buying it. And at this point, we're doing 10 options or yeah, 10 contracts. So let's just change that. We'll just make it to we'll just make that one for now. Um, you can see our ticket symbol is GoPro and you can see our expiration date here. We can change that if we wanted to adjust our expiration date, if we chose the wrong one or kind of compare what prices are. Um, and we can see our strike, pr strike price is the 2850 strike price. Um, and we're doing a call. We could buy a put as well. We could sell a put. We could sell a call. We can do anything we want that one. Um, in terms of the order types and such over here, that's going to be the exact same as it is when buying a stock as well. So we're going to stick with a limit order um, and we're going to say we're interested in this if this if it's available for two dollars. So if this stock, if this option is available for two dollars, go ahead and execute this order and we'll keep it good for today. So we're going to go ahead and hit confirm and send here. That's going to bring up the same window as it does when we trade stocks, just basically confirm what we're wanting to do what it's going to cost us and make sure that we're using the right account. So we're just going to go ahead and hit send there. Um, and our order is sent in through the software. Now, if you go up here to the monitor tab, you can see that here's our order that we placed. We're going to buy uh, one contract of GoPro on the expiration date of November 4, 15. 
uh, for a 2850 strike price and we're willing to pay two dollars for that contract um, you can change that modify it here by right clicking on it you can do a cancel and replace order um, and that's gonna pull up that exact same the exact same window we just had open so we're just going to delete that because we don't actually want to trade that so you can see it's still available here um, and another place to view this same thing is on the charts page just like we could with our stock entry or our stock orders we can go over here to the chart and we'll type in gopro and you can see right here at the bottom here is our gopro option order that we have out there um, and the price you can drag it up and down you can cancel it just like you do with a stock so say i want to cancel this i don't want this order anymore i'm just going to go ahead and hit that x it disappears you can see our notification comes in up here i have canceled that order but just to confirm that we can go to the monitor tab we can see canceled orders and here it is right here the order we just canceled so uh, if you have any other questions about trading options or anything else you'd like to see in thinkorswim please let us know in the comments below and we'll see if we can't make a video for you thanks one of the questions that we get on a daily basis is how do we find stocks to trade? To answer this question, we went ahead and made a free resource guide. The guide lists the five tools that we use every day that helps us find stocks that are in play. The guide is short, sweet, and to the point, and best of all, it's free. Go ahead and click that box, enter your email address, and we'll send it to you right away. As always, if you like this video or find it helpful, please leave us a thumbs up or a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.